guys i'm here at my office and i'm actually about to leave to go to a full day of activism i have three events today the first one is miami aquarium weekly protest they do it every single weekend saturdays and sundays unfortunately i'm not able to go all the time but lately i've been trying to go at least once a month from miami aquarium we're going to miami beach to a victoria's secret store I don't know if you guys knew, but lately, um, for the past, I, I believe, two, three years, they've been testing on animals since they decided to sell in China. And they were cruelty-free for many years. They, they said that they would never do animal testing, but now they do since they're selling in China. From there, we're going to the Cube of Truth, and that's always fun. We always get a lot of possible conversions there, and it's always nice being able to do outreach and talk to other people about your beliefs. So yeah, just follow me today on my full day of activism. <laughs> at the beach and it's funny I just came to protest animal cruelty look what I see yeah there was a cop riding a horse what bothers me the most is that everyone is so amazed everyone is taking pictures and oh my god this is so amazing but they don't realize that this is the 21st century there's bikes there's so many other alternatives to riding a horse. Why would you do that? Why? So finally, everyone is here, and it's actually, I think it's at least 10. So I'm excited. We're going to make a change today. I'm standing here at the exit of Miami Aquarium, trying to give out flyers with free information to the guests of this place and it's really sad that a lot of them don't even want this free information they make fun of us and they have no idea what they're supporting so yeah aside from the fact that this place is hell for the animals it really worries me that people are not willing to learn free information we don't hate the people we just want to give them information i used to come here i have actually been here twice in my life and i didn't know what i was supporting now i do that's why i don't come anymore why are we contributing to animal slavery folks these animals were taken forcibly taken away from their habitats and their families and taught tricks just so that we can be entertained for a few hours folks please make the compassionate choice in the future by not buying a ticket here and going elsewhere okay you guys so i'm leaving now that was interesting we actually got in a little argument with an employee from the aquarium she was very nasty about it she was not willing to learn but anyways I'm going to try to get a clip from that someone was doing a live video so I hope I can get a hold of it and show you guys exactly what went down you see a few words we are right now in Facebook live we had like over a million people just you know just <laughs> I just <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. We're just here to inform people. Unfortunately, they believe that since they're animal lovers, they come here to appreciate animals, but they have no idea what they're supporting. So, yeah, we're just here to. I mean, you have to make a comment. Like, there's a lot of things that you don't know. This is a rehabilitation. Have you center. seen Blackfish on Netflix? <laughs> yeah, but Blackfish has nothing to do with this aquarium. Well, nothing to do with this aquarium. I believe it does. Well, what do you know? I know a lot. Tell me what you know. Well, if you've seen this Tell documentary, me what you know. 
you will know that we have no right to have these animals in here. They deserve to be free just like you and I. Okay, they? so what happens to the leader we fear now? What's gonna happen? We have here? a plan. You wanna learn about it? I mean I would love to learn about it. If you have a plan about it, sure, but you know what's gonna happen, how are you gonna prepare the system? That's we have a plan, we have a center okay, already. The plan is. They have perfect you can read it, Orca Network. No, tell me. No, I want to hear tell it. You. I no. want to hear it. It's, it's, you guys know no. about it, so tell me. Yeah, we have it. I'm driving, I can't read it. Okay, okay, no, okay, but you have to read it. Wanna, the the, the, the plan is ready. Though. Go to Orca it's on, Network. It's on Orca no, Network. Tell me about it. Talk to me. You guys are preaching about it. Okay, I want to hear it. The plan, What's the plan? The plan is that they're going to they're gonna have professionals take Lolita to, to where her, her native waters are, and there's going to be a sea pen there that they, they have her, and it's enclosed, but it's very large. So right, she can get used the same waters with all yes. the experience. At Washington State, where it's the family? the same waters that she was born in, where her family right. is. Right, but I'm saying her immune system. Her immune yes, system they have, they have to prep her for that. They have to prep her for that, obviously. Okay, how are they going to prep her up for that? They, you have to read organize system. all the planets over there. It's we can't tell you the whole story here. Look, guys, I'm an animal lover. I wouldn't work for a place that wasn't treating animals right. I'll tell you that now. But like, but she was from Miami, Sequoia. I guess she's, she's, she's speaking the same. Orca world left in captivity and human care. You know that. She's healthy, she's good, she does, but she doesn't know what to like. If you guys are gonna prep up, I'm all for it, but oh, not tell you tell your boss to listen to the illumination. Illumination, we have a plan, the sanctuary is ready. They need to listen because they don't want to listen to anyone. That's a problem. Listen, they think about the money, that's all. No, but no, they care about the business. It's not what I'm telling me, it's what I already know. Go and read it. The plan is over there. It's not a lie. Anyways, I'm on my way to my car. Maybe have some lunch. It's been heating up in my dashboard. <laughs> and then head out to Miami Beach to the Victoria's Secret protest. to Victoria's Secret and I can already see some activists waiting around. Here they are. It's a whole bunch. Uh, hi everybody, we are here today on Lincoln Road in Miami, Florida. We're about to do a uh, demonstration outside of Victoria's Secret and educate the public on uh, animal testing. Um, we're going to be right outside. I'm going to be one of the bunnies um, we're representing the animals that are killed due to these testings which have proven to not be really, uh, the, the, the data that's collected from these tests really doesn't prove anything. Um, anyways, this is what we're going to be doing today, so thumbs up for us. Hopefully we can get through some people. Thank you. We have started and this is pretty much what we're doing right here right in front of Victoria's Secret so this is a shopping bag that's from all these clothing yeah I know if you could come a little closer So they obviously called the cops already, but that's not an issue because it's a right. This is a public um, place. It's a right to do protest in here or out here. So yeah, I've been able to talk to a lot of people and I'm getting a lot of positive feedback today. So I'm excited. ready to start the cube look how awesome we have TVs we have masks we have a bunch of little cards it's 
a lot of us today. coming to an end, I could not be more satisfied. I have been able to talk to so many people today. I'm actually losing my voice. <laughs> yeah. Let's confirm. 125. Oh, 126. 126. We got 126 future 126. vegans. Go vegans. Yay! I'm really happy. I'm exhausted. I'm worth this right now. I had a really awesome day.